What's up, dude? Dang, look at this thing. I still think the best part of this car is that it has a Pontiac motor in it. And the fucking GTO scoop. And the GTO scoop. It looks scoop. like it was made for this car for some reason. It does. Reason. I can't believe. Honestly, I thought it was going to be kind of dumb. But then once it's in there, like this peak matches like perfectly. Yeah, Because it comes you. down and then it tapers out. Well, and then if you look at this, it's hard to tell right now because it's a drab color. Yeah. When this is glossy, there is a slight peak that follows here. And then if you look at the back, I left the rear peak on the hood too. So yeah, well, is, I can see the peak here. This is, with this my, is open. Yeah. So this peak runs, it follows all the way through. Yeah. Use this as my brake line, you know what I mean? And yeah. I just have a small tape line here. I was going to ask if you were going to put a line here, if you were going to come down. Everybody that I've watched do it puts a line here because if you get the Bel Air trim, there's a piece of chrome that covers this. So, okay. I could bring it down, but if I don't find that chrome, at least it'll have a nice cutoff. Yeah. You know? I think I, it'll look better, anyways, because I think it would look goofy having your roof color the same the here. The, and and then you've got your little, door as a hard line. Yeah. I just. No. So anyway, and then, but my reason being is when I paint the entire car the yeah. same color, it's going to be super easy for me to just mask these two areas up. And then I don't have to, when I paint the car, I don't have to stand on a stool to paint the roof because it's already yeah. done. I can literally do everything from ground level. Right. Think that'll be kind of cool. Yeah. Look at all that weird pearl in there, dude. I think that'll be. That'll That's be pretty fucking cool, rad. huh? I got a whole fucking gallon of it, pretty much. sanded and then i'm gonna tape off and i'm gonna still do some kind of border yeah and probably split it up with some kind of like you know whatever i just do like a like a stripe line or something like that you're thinking well, or what probably be like a double stripe line or yeah. something kind of cool that'll you know i'll break it up all the way around and then i'll use some other kind of color on here i might spray some black base yep and then spray maybe more of this blue because this blue looks really cool yeah but then it would give this shit, like, you know, and I'll probably leave, maybe leave like this much of the roof. Yep. Like green, you know what I mean? Have like a big thick stripe, then two stripes, and just go all the way around it all out and make it look okay. super built around the corners and shit. Yeah. All right, got the roof and the dash all masked off. Gonna start getting ready to spray some color on it. Oh, this part. Now, because we live in Minnesota, and it's fucking like two degrees outside, I'm using fast reducer. That works. Well, that's what you want. It, it's basically the catalyst that makes the paint dry. Mm-hmm. And when it's colder, you want a faster reducer. Okay. So I use fast because even, like, it's like 65 in here right now, which is fine. But I think it's between, like, 60 and 80 degrees is when you're supposed to use fast. Yep. So, like, if you're in, like, fucking South Texas, dude, you're going to be probably going to be using slow reducer and yeah. it's still going to be dry in 10 minutes. That's a cool color.
All right, whole car is shot, three stages, or I'm sorry, three coats. Gonna let it sit for a good while and shoot some clear on it. In my opinion, it probably doesn't really. <coughs> I don't think so either. Sometimes, if you put too much clear on, it'll dull the paint. Yep. But then the other aspect is, is if you have to buff it for some reason. See, I'm just doing this. Then you've got more. I'm just looking for runs. Is that a run? Nope. Yeah, you just got more material to work with. <coughs> right. God, this hood looks amazing now, dude. I mean, there's really a couple does. little things in it, you know? Hold on, what's this? Nope, we're good. This is the hardest part because I couldn't see down here. <coughs> I'm literally just clearing blind on this side. I'm like, well, I'm just going to count my passes and hope for the best. Right. So what are you going to do? Wet sand the roof and then... Wet sand the roof, wipe it off, tape it off. Lay some cool stuff. And then we're gonna, yep, lay some tape lines. I got a fabric tape measure that we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get semi, like, yeah, I don't have to be real wet sanded, just, just enough. Just to knock it down a little bit. Well, it's cause it's got fucking, it's got solvent pop all over it. Oh yeah, looks much better already. Yeah, and then I got a tack cloth, we'll tack it off. I'm hitting it with 600, so. Okay. All right, well, I'll help you. Rough's all wet sanded now.
Roof's all taped off. Looks a little goofy, but it'll look cool when it's done. Lace is done, and then what color blue is this on the outside? Um, yeah, it's some kind of omni color. I don't remember. It was just a random can off the shelf that they had. It's called Medium Peel Blue Poly. It's a 1968 Camaro color, actually, which is kind of cool. That's cool. So. Hit it with one more coat, start pulling some tape lines up, and hit it with clear. Yeah. That's, that's the end of the road for us, bud. Yeah. Tape's peeled off, lace showing through, getting ready to spray clear. First coat of clear. Nope, she does have a couple runs in her right in there. Mm -hmm. That's that's the only spot I see it though, Case, is right in here. Yeah. You were saying down in here, I don't notice anything. I see a little bit thick in here and right yeah. in there. That's it. And I think it's I can really get not bad though. And it's I think just, I can get it out. Yeah. And you can probably see it here. It's just from it's from where the clear hits the paint edge. Yeah. That's okay though. You know what that means? What? It means that the paint edges will be very well buried so that when I fucking wet sand this thing. Yeah. Well, there's two coats. After yeah. about what do you th what do you think we got into the rough? Five hours? Fuck, I don't know, man. A lot. Probably five hours, yeah. Yeah. And then call it another hour and a half doing a wet sand and buff on the rough. Yep. Not bad for a dirty garage. No, well, I still gotta get this run out here. Yeah. But gives me some room to bump. Right. No big deal. God. Just looks crazy.
It's weird because you can see there's like a weird amount of purple. If you stand up here and look, there's a weird amount of purple in that original blue. Oh. In the right light, yeah. It's weird, dude. Weird, dude. God damn. Throw a little bit of chrome on this. That's what I'm gonna do where it feels bad a girl bit. and where it feels up a little bit, I'm gonna just put chrome on. Yeah. Suck, I no, I mean, just in general, slap a little bit of chrome on this car, dude, and it's going to pop. 